everybody. I hope you're all doing okay at the moment. Um, I've devised this program today for more of a cardio workout, cardiovascular to get your heart rate up a little bit more. Um, still working all over, so this one's working your upper body, your lower body, um, everywhere really. We're doing arms, um, shoulders, chest, back, okay. Um, this is, I'm going to do easier options and harder options for each exercise. Um, those of you, if you haven't already, start marching. This is the easier alternative, so any of my cardiac rehab guys doing this, you should be doing the easier alternatives. You do need a bit of a longer warm up and cool down as well, so just bear that in mind. Either do this for longer, you can pause it, or go out for, a, do a 10 minute walk first, or a 10 minute walk around your garden and then do this, that would be ideal really. And the same at the end, you need to do a bit more of a longer cool down. Okay, um, the virus size customers, um, this is just similar to kind of like a circuit class, but without the, the plate. Okay, so it's the next best thing. So those of you that can, we're going to take it into a light jog now. Always thinking about posture. If I'm looking over there from time to time, it's because my neighbours are out and I'm thinking they're going to think I'm bonkers. Um, and over here, I've just got my little plan of action. Okay, my little program, what we're going to be doing. Um, okay, so the next one, cardiac rehab guys, or easier option, get those knees up one at a time. Okay, harder option, jump in, high knees, or, okay, up to you. You choose whichever one you want. Um, this is obviously a home exercise program, so you can do it in the garden like I am or you can do it in the living room and I'm going to be using this trampoline um, I'm not going to be jumping on it, don't worry <laughs> um, I'm not going to be doing tricks either but um, I am going to be using it on the edge just to do exercises um, which you could use your sofa for, okay? or if you've got a chair at home, something like that alright, so you can just as easily do it in the living room good, okay, the next exercise we're going to do some heel digs so pull your toes right back, this is the easy option, those of you, some of you have done this before, harder option, okay, so just a little bicep curl whilst you're doing it, there's a runner going by, this is the main road here, so we've got double decker buses and all sorts going by, anyway, so this one is just stretching out the calf a little bit whilst we're warming up, okay, so it's important to make sure that you're stretching and mobilizing your joints and muscles before we actually go into the main workout okay so the next one we're going to do is the heel kick so this time keep doing that bicep curl if you want to make it a little bit harder you can do a double arm bicep curl and get your kick right back kicking the bum if you can or those of you that want to do the harder option you can do this one Okay, I'm going to do the easier option so I can breathe and able to talk to you, talk you through it. Okay, so this one we're stretching out a bit for the front of the thigh. Okay, so it's all about each one making sure we're stretching out at the same time and just getting the muscles ready. Alright, good, that's it, let's do ten more. Nine, eight, seven, some of these if you want to make it, make it a bit harder you could have cans of beans in your hands that make it a bit harder for those of you that do the circuits and you're used to it hard okay the next one we're going to do is a little toe tap out to the side so this is the easy option and then you can add your arm in as a harder option you could go a little bit faster so you could do it like that if you've got the coordination let's take a bit of coordinating this one and then those of you that are used to it, let's do 10 jacks. Good. So weight through the balls of the feet. That's it. Good. And I've lost count. So three, two, four. Good. Okay. And then back into the moderate version or the easier one for some of you. Excellent. Okay. Good. Okay, and then we're gonna do a little bit of a arm circle. So back into that march again, shoulder rolls, change direction, just mobilizing the shoulders this one is. Let's get the arm out now. 
So for those of you not as mobile in the shoulders, you can just do little arm circles, both directions. Those of you that have got more mobility, bigger circles, okay? That's it, good. And change direction again. Don't do this if you've got shoulder injuries, the bigger one. Good. Okay, the next one, this is a great one for coordination as well. Um, you're going to do a little squat kick. So you're going to go squat, kick, squat, kick, squat, kick. When you squat, it's important to make sure the weight's through the heels of your feet. I feel like I've said this a million, billion times, not necessarily now, but in my classes. So you've heard all of this before. Get your weight back. Good. Three more. Two. If you want to make that harder, you can go lower, okay? next time. Okay, going back into a light jog on the spot, we're going to have a quick stretch, bring your arms forward and bring your hands behind, pushing away from your back. Good, and then shaking the arms off. Okay, so the next one we're doing is a moving lunge. So you're taking a nice big step forward, make sure your feet are about shoulder width apart. Your knee shouldn't go over the toe, and you want to get that back knee down as low as you can. So this is the hardest option. Easier option, just doing a little knee bend. Just like that. Try and keep your postures nice and upright. Shoulder blades together. Good. That's it. Two more. And then back into a light jog again. Okay, so the next one, we're going to go into the main program now, okay? So, sorry, you have to excuse me, my nose is running because it's quite cold out here before you're warm. Um, so the next one we're going to do is mountain climbers and squats. Everyone's favourite, mountain climbers. So you're going to put your hands on the sofa and then you're going to come up like this. Alternatively, you could do this on the floor if you wanted to make it harder, okay? An easier option would be just to take a toe tap backwards and then harder option again, getting the knee right up and the foot right back. Good, and then we're going to come back and do 10 squats, okay? So. Now we're going nice and low with the squats, okay? You want to go right down to a 90 degree angle. You can bring your hands up in front like we do when we super squat, or bring your hands on your hips. I always find out in front it helps me balance, helps me get my weight back through the heels where it should be. Good, two more. And then we're going to repeat that again. Okay, so back into mountain climbers. Um, you'll have to excuse me a minute, I need to blow my nose, sorry. Okay, so hopefully you've just done that. Yep, yeah, you've just done your mountain climbers and we're going to go back into the squats again. That's it, brilliant. Still learning with these videos. This is only my second one. It's all a big learning curve. I'm going to be a pro by the end of it. Good, two more. Excellent. Into that jog. Okay, okay so for the next one to do a jog in between okay and then we're going to go into a press up down up and then you're going to bring your knee to elbow okay this is called a commando press up so hands on nice and comfortable position take it down up knee to elbow down up knee to elbow okay if you find this quite hard you could just bring your feet in a bit closer and just do little knee raises like this okay so just do what you can down, up, knee to elbow. Good, we'll do one more. 
on each side. Excellent. And then we're going to do a, a lunge rotation. So for this one, you can use anything, anything at all. Grab hold of it. I'm going to take it down. I'm going to do this one sideways. You're going to go forward, down, rotate towards your front leg, back, and then up. And get the other leg forward, rotate towards that front leg, back round, and then up. Okay, down, good postures. Always thinking nice and upright with your posture. Good rotation. It's always worth having a mirror there. I know a lot of you don't like to, but it means you can check your positioning. Just make sure that you're shoulder width apart and you're nice and upright. Good. So that's 10 of those, hopefully, by now. And then we're going back into the jog. And then we do that, repeat that all again. Okay, so back into the press ups once we've done this little jog. This little patch of grass here is going to be very worn out. It's all very uh, wet still, anyway, from all that lovely rain we had. Good, okay, those of you that just do a light marching on the spot, okay? Those of you that want to take it a little bit easier. Good, okay, so we're going to take you through that again. So, press ups, down, up, knee to elbow, okay? Down, up, knee to elbow. Again, keep going. Those of you that want to take it hard, the rest of you, just do a knees a little bit closer. Just do a little knee raise, okay? Just like that. Four more. Three, two, one. And then back into the lunge, okay? So I'm going to do this one forwards this time. So you go down to the side, back, back. Down to the side, back, back. Keep it nice and slow and controlled, okay? Oh, that's five halfway, and five to go. Four. Three, two more, and one. Good, okay, we're going to do four. And the next one we're going to do is we're going to start with the plank jacks, doing ten of those. So, plank jacks, we're going to do this one here again, taking both legs out, or one at a time for the easier alternative. Then we're going to take it into squats, but wide squats, and then we're going to do shoulder shrugs. I'll show you that one in a second, okay? So the first one, hands on, hard option, easy option. That's it, keep it going. Five, four more, three, two, one. And now we're taking it into the wide squat. Feet nice and wide down and up. We're doing 10 again and up. Three. Make sure you don't dip your knees in. A lot of people do that on this one. You don't want to see your knees in here. Your knees need to get out there. Okay? I'm losing count every time I do this and I talk but you guys are used to that. My lovely one minutes that end up being a minute and a half. Those of you from the cardiac class, I can't do that at the studio because it's timed and it stops after a minute. Okay. Then, hands on, I'm going to take it down into a relaxed position and then I want you to take your shoulder blades back. So you know how I'm always saying to you, shoulders blade, shoulders back, shoulder blades together. That's what we're going to be working on. Okay, so imagine you're doing a rowing, okay, in this position. So hands down, take your shoulder blades back. Concentrate on your breathing as well, breathing in and out, in and out, repeating that, and this time we're going to hold it for a bit longer, okay, so take your shoulder blades back, squeeze them together, hold it there, and relax, bring your feet in a little bit closer if you want an easier option, sorry I should have mentioned that at the beginning of this one, okay, keep going. And we'll do one more where we're going to hold to take it back. 
five, four, three, two, one. Good. Okay, excellent, guys. So back into the jogging again. Okay. So we're going to repeat that one again. So plank jacks, 10, let's go. 10, 9, 8, remember the easier alternative. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And into the wide squats now, feet out wide, toes out. Taking it down and up. Good. Down and up. Thinking about those knees out over the instep but not over the toes. Easier alternative, just do a little squat, okay? Just a half squat. That's it, let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. And then again, shoulder shrugs, so take it back and relax. We're gonna hold each one for five seconds. Take it back and relax. Take it back and relax. Take it back and relax. And again, take it back and relax. Good. Okay, well done, guys. That was the last one. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just take you through a bit of a cool down. Okay, so kind of doing the opposite to what we've done to warm up with. So those of you that can, doing the light jog or marching if you want the easier option, okay? So hopefully you've all got a little bit breathless with this. Um, fiber size guys, yeah, a breathlessness, also burning in the muscles, really important. Um, cardiac rehab guys, probably you guys definitely need to be getting breathless, okay? Um, and... Uh, yeah, you're working the muscles as well, maybe not so hard, um, but it's more about getting breathless with you guys, making your heart and lungs stronger, okay? Okay, so we're going to do a little fewer toe taps out to the side again. Those of you that want to, back into the faster version, or with the arms as well, or some jacks. Good, but we are taking it down a little bit now, okay? So I'm going to try and gradually lower that heart rate back down again. Okay, good. And then we're going to do the little heel kick. Coming back. Excellent. That's it. So I'm thinking this one will be about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, hopefully. Um, I will try and do some longer ones as well. Um, you can just, you know, extend these a little bit if you wanted a, a longer workout. But I didn't want to do anything too long, you know, because then we don't tend to do it, do we? That's the whole idea of fiber size programs is, uh, you know, you can do it, you can fit it into your into your day. If it's like an hour and you're like, mm, I don't really fancy a whole hour's exercise. So hopefully this will be just about right. Good. So just taking it down a bit now. Um, slowly getting that heart rate lower. And then we're going to take it into some stretches to finish off with, okay? So back into the march again. I do apologise for my runny nose. I didn't realise it was going to be this cold out here. It was so warm earlier. But yeah, it's certainly still getting colder on the nights, isn't it? Okay, good. Let's bring your arms forward. So we're going to stretch the back, rounding the shoulders, side on. Good. And then bring your hands behind, pushing right back. So hands away from the back, good chest stretch. So I know for me, I've just been doing, not really done much over the last couple of days. I have been a little bit poorly, had a very sore throat, a bit of tonsillitis, um, so I've not really done too much. So you do tend to get a bit tight with your muscles, bring your arm across. And uh, some of you might have that as well. So these stretches you can do every day if you want to, change your arms. Um, certainly the back ones we do at the end are really important, really help to keep you from getting tight because you know muscle tightness is not comfortable at all and it can cause problems and injuries. So on your arm up, drop it down behind. Good, so this is the tricep one. 
more people walking past than can I not? I'll have to do this in the living room next time when Elise is in bed. Change arms. Good. That's it. And then I'm going to do these uh, last leg stretches because normally we do this in the on the plate, but we can't do it on the plate, so we're going to do it. Sorry, normally we do it as massages on the plates. Um, so we don't normally do these stretches. Get your back heel down, slightly forward, change legs. Good, so you should feel a stretch in your calf muscle now. That's it, then you're going to bring your weight back onto the back leg, straighten your front leg. When you do this one, don't bend, lean from the hips, okay? And change legs, lean from the hips, keep your back nice and straight, always thinking about that posture. Good, and then coming up, march it out. And we're almost there, we're just gonna do last leg stretch, standing on one leg, hold on to something if you need to. Try and keep your knees together, not out there. Standing nice and tall. Probably the most important one because that's one of the main muscles we've worked, okay? So this one's quite important. Change legs. You should try and do this stretch after any exercise, really. Especially walking, jogging, cycling. Good. That's it. Excellent. And then we're just going to finish off with some a nice back stretch so you're going to have a big stretch up nice and tall watch the washing line and drop it down slowly coming back up and washing lines down and again all the way up good nice deep breath in Take a side, breathing out. Change sides, breathing in. And breathing out. And one more time, last deep breath in, nice and tall. And breathing out, good. Excellent guys, well done. So this one, um, it wasn't too much, it's, it's quite a bit of core, um, not so much the abdominal area, but those of you that know the ab ones, that was in the first workout I did, always add some of those into this okay um, but generally it's more of a sort of cardio and all over body workout okay so I hope you enjoyed it I promise you they will get better <laughs> the more I do um, let me know any feedback okay thanks guys hope you're all